everybody I am going to show y'all how to cook something pretty simple uh, it kind of looked funky I'll be honest with y'all but I think it's okay um, I'm gonna show y'all how to cook something super simple super fast um, Keto Kelly I'm gonna give her a shout out because she taught me this even though I've always had my clock right there yeah you see that knife no anyway this is actually a really small knife it just looks big uh, you see my clock is right there so y'all could see the time but I'll go ahead and tell y'all the time it is 6 15 um, yeah I, I noticed that Keto Kelly is she found me but I love her I love her accent love everything about her go check her out um, but she says the time before she starts cooking now if I'd stop rambling it probably be better. I'll be right back. So, here I am. So anyway, she tells the time, and that is actually something very smart so that y'all will see exactly how long this takes to cook this meal. So what I'm going to do is I have just this much of a red pepper, red bell pepper, you can use however much you want. I mean, this is just my preference. You know what I mean? Um, in the oven right now, I do have a um, some sausage, some bratwurst sausage cooking because that's going to go inside of this soup. This soup is sort of like um, if I had to give it a flavor of what it will taste like, it will kind of taste like. Um, my mind is drawing a blank, but there's a soup at Olive Garden that tastes pretty close to this. It has sausage and potatoes. Come on, guys. This is, I don't know why I'm forgetting this. This is my favorite soup. I used to eat it all the time. Can't eat it anymore, so I started eating this one in replacement of it. So, yeah. So, anyway, you get these peppers all chopped up in this bowl, or in this boiler. Right now what I have in there is some Kerrygold butter. Be careful, baby. What I have in here now is some Kerrygold butter. Guys, if it is smart choice butter, if it is any kind of butter that is okay, you know, that is low carb, not processed, natural butter, it is okay. You don't have to get Kerrygold. You really don't. You can, but you don't have to. Like, if you can't afford it that week, I get smart choice also. It's cheaper. If I'm kind of budgeting a little easier that week, I'm going to get Smart Choice because Kerrygold is kind of expensive. I will admit that. Um, that's another thing Kelly mentioned in one of her videos is that, you know, you don't have to have Kerrygold butter. I choose Kerrygold butter when I can because it's good. I'm going to put a little bit more red pepper in there. So just a tiny bit more than what you saw. Go on. You're very entertaining, my love, but they can't see my pot that I'm cooking with here. That's the whole point is for them to see it. If you want to stand over here next to me, you can. No, you cannot. You can come over here and stand like I told you. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to add some broccoli into this. Yummy broccoli. Not this much. I'm probably going to get like two of these little trees off and go with that but excuse me go with that much I'm drinking a um, carbonated water right now so it kind of has me all burpy so excuse me for burping while I'm talking to you oh no we lost part of our lost part of our broccoli there no don't touch it don't touch it don't touch it please we don't need it we could throw it in the trash if you want to, but don't put it back in the uh, thing, okay? Here. We'll put it in the trash can for me. So anyway, you just cut up whatever vegetables you want in here, really. Uh, I'm using broccoli, red pepper, cauliflower, of course. Green beans is going to be up in this mix. It's going to be delicious. So you just get all these cut up, you put them in there, it's going to be good and yummy. And I don't know, like if you're comparing my weight loss like to how much I've lost or whatever, 
you can go back a few videos of me doing recipes or me talking in my kitchen, me standing here and telling y'all stuff and telling you how I look. But I'm just going to give y'all a kind of like an overlook of where I'm at. Pants are falling down. Where I am at and maybe you can like compare it to the last video that I kind of show more of my body. Um, cause I know I don't, sh I don't show much of myself very often because I'm often just talking to you guys or singing for you, but yes. So I know there are a couple videos where I'm standing here. I can't remember if I'm cooking or if I'm just talking or what the deal was, but I do remember them. So I kind of wanted to stand back and just show y'all the difference between that video and this video. Oh. And yeah. So here I am, and this is where I'm at with weight loss so far. So now that I've thought of this and like where I'm at and everything, I'll start doing it more often and that way y'all can see it. So now I'm going to move on to the cauliflower part of this shindig. You can do the cauliflower a couple different ways. You can grate it or whatever but I'm just gonna cut mine like sort of how I did everything else because the reason being is if I don't cut it it won't be like chunky and hardy and I like my soups chunky and hardy I don't know about you guys but I'm a chunky hardy type gal so the chunkier the hardier the better I like to have a full soup not just the little wanky danky one some of those vegetables are looking iffy I am telling you you know like when you buy vegetables and they come back looking iffy like I just bought you two days ago and you're already looking iffy don't think so so Anyway, I've had a rough day today, so I just feel like some good old soup, comfort food is what the doctor ordered. I can eat this and then not feel guilty because I'll be so full from it. It's going to be so yummy and it's going to be super low on carbs, lots of vegetables, and it's going to have some good fat in there because I put the butter in. Next, I'm going to add some whoopsies I'm gonna add some of the sausage in so it's gonna have a good content of fat but it's mostly gonna have my vegetables and a thing I have learned about this soup oh man did y'all see that anyways a thing I have learned about this soup is it it's like a good flush like cleansing type soup like I don't know I think there's some healing properties in there somewhere I'm pretty certain of it end off cure all this stuff will make you feel good if you, you know I've tried to ignore this but this crap is getting on my nerves it's my baby hairs y'all it's just my baby hairs so anyway, it is now 6.25, so we're doing pretty good, like 10 minutes in. Hope you guys can hear me. I'm just stepping over here to get can opener, because I'm old-fashioned, and I use the old-fashioned kind of can opener. So now I'm going to add in my green beans, and here is the deal. I'm going to drain these green beans, but I'm only going to drain them halfway, because I like green bean juice. That's just me. That's just who I am. It's all a part of me, and that's who I am. What song is that? Is that a song? Is it from a cartoon, or is it... I don't know. I don't know where it came from. I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up, because I swear I've heard that before somewhere frequently. It might just be like an old song from the 90s or something. I say old. It don't sound like it's that old. I hear one of my children coming. See me cut my eyes? Who is it? Who is that coming? So anyway, I'm going to drain out about half of this uh, green bean juice. 
And then the rest, I'm just going to pull up it up in there. And yes, you can have canned green beans. So simple. So amazing. Shut this door because it, it's letting heat in. When you're in a hot kitchen. You don't want any more heat coming in. I'm already hot enough, you know. <laughs> now I'm going to add my green bell pepper. I almost forgot about this little guy, to be honest with you. Green bell peppers, I love, love, love. So I'm going to get a lot of green pepper in there. I just, I can eat green peppers by themselves. I absolutely love them. They are so delicious. So delicious. So delicious. So, yes, I just, like I said, this is some good comfort food for, I mean, the cold days. It's a hot day today in Texas. It is like 88 degrees outside, not going to lie. But I'm going to put on some, like, comfy yoga pants here in a minute and totally not do yoga. I'm just going to veg out, like, literally veg out, eat this vegetable soup and just relax after the day I've had. It will be nice. So, like I said, this is a good veggie soup to just kind of recharge, if you will. If you're kind of lacking on vegetables and you're like, how can I get some vegetables in and it still be tasty? This is how. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, you just add it in there, you know? That's not enough. That's not enough. We need more green. We need more green, people. Oh, and another thing is, if you're wondering, like, what vegetables should I eat? Let me tell you. The darker the green, the better. I think I've said that before, right? Well, the more the green, the better. If you have a greeny, 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 green, green, you're doing good, my friend. You're doing super good. So here we are now. That is the full prep time. All I've got left to do is add some of my yummy flavoring that I add to it. Let me show you about how much I add. Cha-cha-cha. Probably about 10 or 20 shakes. I don't know what that measures to. I cover the entire top layer with this seasoning. Because this seasoning is like making is what's going to make your broth. Like your chicken broth. So that's going to be this. Okay. It's got no MSG. It has no carbos. It has no sugar. It's good. Okay. So we're going to add that. And then we're going to, of course, get my favorite, Mrs. Dash. <laughs> I love that woman. And we're going to add some garlic and herb. I just add, you know, four or five shakes. Whatever that may be. I don't measure anything ever so if you're looking for measurements i'm so sorry i won't ever give you measurements i will probably give you just estimates okay that's how i cook so if you're watching this channel and you're a measurement person i'm so sorry just eyeball it that's what i do and it always comes out fantabulous i mean i could probably give you a guesstimate but i don't know to each their own to be honest it depends on how much flavor you like it depends on how much guys I'm just gonna throw this crap away like my madre tells me that this is just from like oxygen or whatever but I mean it's like even on the brain part so better safe than sorry is what my mother also says so I'll take that part of her advice throw that in the trash can so yeah so all that prep time took plus with me blabbing what did I say we started at 6 15 or 6 10 I can't remember but it's now 6 30 so it didn't take very long to prep and if I probably wasn't talking to you guys it probably would have took me way less time it really doesn't take very long so now what you're going to do is you've got this beautiful beautiful blended mix here Check it out. It's yummy. 
So yeah, so this is what it looks like. You see all those yummy vegetables in there? That's just the blend. Now what we're gonna do is just add some water to this and some more butter. And that's it. And then you turn it on to boil. Let it boil probably about 15 or 20 minutes. Looking pretty good. Look at it. All those veggies. So it's been okay, it's 6.50 now. And these still aren't done. Now let me tell you, I chose to do this the slower way. So this full cook time should take probably about 30 minutes in total just to cook it and I chose to do it this way but there is another way um, in some of my previous videos y'all have seen the steamer that I have and you could put all these vegetables in that steamer and then add them to this pot and that way they're already soft pretty much what's taking so much time is waiting on that cauliflower to kind of soften up chose not to do that because I just didn't want to. I'm about to check on the sausage. Um, it's in the oven. Let's just go ahead and do that. Oh yes, look at that. So I'm going to cut this sausage up and add it to this boiling mix here. And then I'll add my other ingredients in. Okay, so with the help of my lovely friend, I figured out what the name of the soup from Olive Garden that I was trying to think of is called and it is Zuppa Toscana. That's the soup. I love it. So right now what I'm doing, you can't see my face, but you can kind of see a little better what I'm doing. I'm just, ugh, just parchment paper out of my way. Ugh. I am just cutting up some sausage. I know you can't really tell, but that's what's happening right here. So you want to get your little sausages here and you're wanting to cut them up into just little sausage cuts, you know. It really don't matter, don't have to be perfect. You can hack it, you can whack it, you can Peter Pack it, whatever you wanna do. I don't know what Peter Pack it is, but if you find out, do what you gotta do, boo. Do what you gotta do. So it looks like we're gonna have a little too much sausage for this party. So what I'm going to do is pop the other ones back in the oven, and guess what, guys? I have lunch already cooked for tomorrow. Probably have this soup, but if I want, I could also have the sausage that I pre-made. So that is a plus. That is awesome about this way of eating is you find yourself with lots of leftovers, but you don't necessarily have to have the same leftovers the next day. Like, I don't have to eat this soup tomorrow. I could eat it the next day and instead tomorrow just eat some sausage with some cheese and call it a day. You know what I'm saying? Be a great lunch. So I'm getting all this cut up really good for the soup. I love it chunky but not that chunky. Alright, so let me show y'all what this looks like. I see that? See that? It's all cut up now. So I'm going to pop these two bad boys back in the oven and let them cook just a way bit longer. And I'm going to put all this into my soup. Okay, so for the last part of this, what you're going to do is get you one serving of sharp cheddar. And just kind of cut that up in there. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell y'all, this is going to be cheesy. So you put your sharp cheddar up in there. This is just something I like to do. If you don't like cheese and you don't like creamy soup, don't do it. But this will make your uh, soup creamy and good. And then you're going to get a half of a serving, which a serving I believe is um, one inch by one inch. That's literally what it says. So you're going to get about half a serving of your mozzarella cheese. So 
gonna put some mozzarella up in there. And again, cut it in tiny pieces, almost like shredded cheese, but not. Either, either cut it into uh, small pieces or cut it into thin pieces because you're not gonna leave it on the fire very much longer. And then you're going to add in some heavy whipping. I would say probably a fourth of a cup. If I were to guesstimate, but you guys know, I don't measure. Here's what it looks like. You're wanting to stir all of that milk, or not milk, but uh, heavy whip up in this to make it creamy. The cheese and the heavy whip is going to add the creaminess to it. So you just do that. And you cover it again. I'm trying to get in a better lighting. The yellow is from the butter, but it is also, don't forget that we put that um, Badia season in. The um, Adavo seasoning. And now we're going to add some salt. You can get sea salt. You can get pink Himalayan salt. You can add whatever kind of salt, even just regular bro salt. If that's what you've got, that's what you've got, girl. You do it. You do your thing. Whatever you got in the kitchen, you make it work. All right. So now I'm going to cover this again. And I'm just going to let that sit. So while that's cooking and I'm getting photobombed by Raggedy Andy over there who's looking awful creepy, um, I wanted to talk with you guys about a few things. So I hear all the time about I can't do this because my kids, they won't do that. They will not eat this way. Guess what? My kids don't eat this way either. They eat me some of what I eat they have cut back on their carbs they have cut back on their sugars but they're allowed to be kids let's face it we got to do those things when we were kids they can do those things they can have a lollipop once in a while it ain't gonna kill them you know moderation <laughs> moderation all the way around so what do you do you buy them food and you buy yourself food and you make alterations or you just serve them something else that night if they don't want to eat it fine who cares make them a bowl of cereal if they don't want to eat what we're eating fine eat you a bowl of cereal lower your cholesterol have you some milk have a good time with that i'm gonna eat my yummy soup tonight my kids didn't eat what i was eating i ended up getting my kids granny um pizza because honestly i really wasn't planning on cooking tonight i wasn't even planning on eating tonight like i said earlier it has been a rough rough day i was really just gonna go to bed and but i haven't ate all day and i felt i really needed to because i haven't ate since probably about 2 p.m yesterday so it's going on seven o'clock I think it's time to eat something so yeah so they had pizza and I finally decided I was gonna go ahead and cook so I did and yeah so kids I mean your kids don't have to eat the same thing you're eating that's an excuse don't use it guess what we have little Debbie's we got Lucky Charms we've got what else junk i really think that's all the junky stuff we have because i have seriously cut back on get letting them get junky stuff but still i mean we have the stuff here we have cereal healthy cereal here we have healthy foods here but there's still not things i can eat so what do you do you don't eat them i know I know that y'all thought I was going to have this great advice for you, but I don't. That is the advice. Don't eat it. You don't have to. Nobody's making you eat that stuff. And if you don't want your kids to eat it, guess what? Stop buying it. 
if you really, 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 really don't want your kids to have any of that stuff anymore, don't buy it. I guarantee you they're going to start eating something. They're going to get hungry. They're going to eat. Okay? I know there's been times when, I mean, we were on slim pickings. We didn't have very much groceries. We didn't have very much money. And my kids are picky eaters. And they love to, you know, just indulge. But we didn't have the money to do so. So guess what? We were eating wholesome foods at home. And, rude. Interrupting. Computer. So rude. Anyways, we had wholesome foods at home. And they ate it. Because they had no choice. Either eat it or starve. When you're really faced with no choice. Trust me. They will eat. So... Yeah, I just wanted to put that in there and let everybody know. Don't let that stop you from trying this way of eating. It is a good way of eating. It is the best way I've ate. I can think clear. I can, you know, of course, I say I could think clear and then I couldn't even think of the name of the soup earlier. But you know, okay? Trust me, I can think a lot clearer now. Um, I... I can sit here and go over the list of positives for this with y'all all day, but it wouldn't matter because either you're going to do it or you're not going to do it. You're going to try something new or you're not. You're either going to make a life change or you're not. And there's nothing I can do or say to make you make that decision. That's something you have to do. So if you're ready to make the decision and switch to this way of eating, awesome. Awesome. If you're not, I'm not going to be the one to force you. I will be here to show you what to do if you want to. Um, that's kind of what I, I'm getting at. Gosh, that raggedy Eddie keeps scaring me. I keep thinking it's somebody over my shoulder. But yeah. So, um, I, honestly, I think this stuff is done. Let's take a look. Okay, guys. It is all done. Oh my goodness, I'm so ready to eat this. So what you do is you just put this in a bowl. You can throw a little Parmesan on it if you want to. Um, I mean, if you really want it to be like Olive Garden. Um, also, you can put pepper in it if you want to. You do whatever you want. I really wanted to put onion in here, but I was out of onion. So we just made do with what we had. Anyway, here it is. Creamy Zuppa Toscano Soup. It is so delicious eating. I can't even talk. I'm ready to eat this, guys. If you want to see more of these recipes, if you want to see more of my beautiful face, if you want to see more of my crazy antics, um, or whatever you want to see, if you want to see more of me, just hit the subscribe button, guys. Um... I just, I hope that y'all like this recipe. I hope you think it's as yummy as I do. And I hope you all have a fantastic day.